Can you make your own solar cells? Solar energy is one of the fastest growing alternative energies in the world. Though building an entire solar panel takes a degree of skill and patience, even a beginner can apply the same principles to create a small solar cell. This is a great way to learn about the properties of solar panels. All you need to do is get a little titanium dioxide, build the cell, and use it to turn light into electrical current. Obtaining Titanium Dioxide Collect Donut Powder Buy a bag of white powdered donuts. The powder contains a chemical called titanium dioxide, TO2. Titanium dioxide is a useful material for creating solar cells. Dissolve the sugar. Unfortunately, the titanium dioxide you get from a powdered donut will be not be pure. It will be mixed with sugars and fats. To remove the sugar, stir the powder into warm water and then pour it through a filter. A coffee filter will work fine. The sugar will dissolve in the water and pass right through the filter. The solid left behind is a mixture of titanium dioxide and fats. Remove the fat. The fats are not water soluble, and so they remain mixed with the titanium dioxide after filtration. Fortunately, it is quite easy to remove them. Put the powder on a heat safe dish and bake it at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. 260 degrees Celsius, for about 3 hours. This will vaporize the fats and leave behind a titanium dioxide powder. Creating a solar cell. Use conductive glass. Most conductive glasses are coated with an indium tin oxide residue. This allows the surface of the glass to conduct electricity rather than insulate it. You can buy conductive glass online or at a solar supply store. This glass is usually found in 1 by 1 in 2.5 4 by 2, 54 centimeters, squares. Make a titanium dioxide solution. Add ethanol to your titanium dioxide in a glass beaker and stir. You should use the most pure ethanol you can find. 200 proof lab grade ethanol is best, but vodka or Everclear will work in a pinch. Use about 1 milliliter of ethanol per donut and shake or stir the solution in a glass or beaker. Coat the glass. Put a layer of tape around three sides of the glass. This will help you control the depth of your coating. Use a dropper or pipette to drop a small amount of the titanium dioxide solution onto the surface of the glass. Use a microscope slide to scrape the, the excess liquid off leaving just a thin coating. Repeat this process 10 times. Each drop should be sufficient to coat the glass one time with a thin film. In total, you will use 10 drops to form 10 layers of titanium dioxide. Cook the solar cell. Put the solar cell into a clear, heatproof beaker or dish. Place the container on a hot plate, or place the solar cell directly on the hot plate. Turn the hot plate on and cook the cell for 10 to 20 minutes. Stain the cells with tea. Teas contain organic compounds known as anthocyanins. These compounds are good at capturing light in the visible spectrum. Brew a cup of herbal tea and submerge the solar cell for a few hours. Darker teas, such as hibiscus, work best. This will stain the cell and allow anthocyanins to bind to the surface of the cell. The cell is now capable of capturing visible light. Generating a current. Color another piece of conductive glass with graphite. This piece of glass will act as a counter electrode. You can use a regular graphite pencil. Just rub the tip of the pencil over the glass until it is fully covered with the graphite residue. Put a spacer between pieces of glass. You can cut a thin plastic spacer to put between the pieces of glass. The spacer should go on the clean side of the glass, opposite the T or graphite side. Alternatively, you can put tape around the edges on the clean side of the glass to form a spacer. This keeps the glass ever so slightly separated. Add an electrolyte solution. An iodine solution is an ideal electrolyte. You can get it over the counter at most pharmacies. 
Mix the solution in a 3 to 1 ratio with alcohol. Put 1 to 2 drops of the solution between the two pieces of glass. Press the pieces of glass together. Before the solution has time to evaporate, press the two pieces of glass firmly together. Use alligator clips to hold them in place. Your cell is now capable of producing electrical currents when exposed to light. Please click on the link below the video to watch the full content. If you are interested, 